Yeah, we're starting to see a generation of, uh, of young officer who have had 12 months of, of pretty intensive leadership development and training and education. So I think we'll see that uh, develop over the coming years. I think it's really important because uh, we are shaping the future leaders of Afghanistan. We only have one year with them, but just in that one year we can shape them in a way where they will serve the country and in, the, in the best possible way. Because when they leave here in six months they will be fighting in Hillman and having the responsibility for 30 young men, um, take them into war, into battle. So the year they're here, and I see them, the cadets, I've never seen that motivation nowhere else in the world. They really want to serve their country, they want to do the best for their country, and they're just sucking in all the experiences, all the things we teach them. They might come up to me and ask, oh, you do this in the Danish army, how could we do this in the Afghan army? This is a young guy, 18, 19 years old, so they really have the motivation. So in, 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 the, in that sense, I, I think, the future leadership of Afghanistan is in good hands from, from ANOA. Being charged with uh, developing the next generation of leaders is a hugely important task and one that we both relish and, and take it extremely seriously. And secondly, you know, how are they doing? I think the, uh, the answer to that question is you need to look out across Afghanistan and see how uh, the graduates of this academy are doing in the field. And the answer to that is that they're building a, a hugely successful um, you know, reputation for, for, for leadership, particularly in some pretty arduous combat experiences we saw up in Kunduz or down in Helmand.